But they just keep going. So you know we should do this kind of thing when we demonstrate the wheels, you know. Yeah, but I'm not Vanna White, and she's not going to come down here to do that. So yeah, so it's on uh, wheels. This is a earlier Packard Bell set. It's not branded Teledyne, so that puts it around 72. You were saying? Uh, I'm not sure. I don't remember the time when they. When, cheaper, although it doesn't seem like a cheaper set. It's three eighty-eight. Um, it could have been a blowout since it was an older model. So it's uh, still kind of got that early American dovetailing going on on the bottom with the wheels, so you can roll it around easily. And you've got the uh, AFC button and the power button here, on and off. And ICP, which is a degausser for the CRT. Yeah, instant color purification. That was the the uh, Packard Bell. There's your controls inside. Yeah, con so here are the controls. You've got the contrast, brightness, vertical and horizontal hold, volume. Which I don't know why they want you to go digging inside for the volume, but this might be a remote set and gain. This might be a remote set. So I'm, that might set the maximum volume level for the remote. And this has the Packard Bell symbol on it, not the Teledyne. Right. So what we'll do is we'll open the back and have a look at the inside. Again, this was from a television distributor, a Teledyne Packard Bell distributor that uh, kind of closed up and went out of business in the 70s. And um, Teledyne Packard Bell was made right here in Los Angeles. So uh, this one we have, I guess I stuck the, uh, the customer user manual on operations inside the set. This one features a 25 XP22 color CRT with bonded safety lens. This one's been in a little bit dustier of an environment, but it is still new old stock. It was never sold to a customer. And this is a 98C22 chassis. Okay, ready? Go. Okay, so here's your information on taking care of the cabinet. It's a model CP954. Here's your schematic and parts list. So they were on Olympic Boulevard in Los Angeles at this time. Hold on, I'll fold it out. Uh oh. Just these are real touchy. Most there's your parts list. Almost everything sold in this time period came with something like this when it was new, a schematic, here's your schematic. and a parts list. And here's the schematic for the set. RCA, everybody provided some type of service information with their products. The schematic is dated January 22nd, 1969. V. Marshall. Was the drafter. So here you go. Here's an IC. IC 401. Looks like maybe a color demodulator. Chroma amp. 
So yeah, that would be that little guy right there near the crystal. That little round thing next to that disc capacitor, that's a hermetically sealed, probably a color oscillator. Ooh, for the complete enjoyment. Highest resolution. Yep, at the time. Control panel. How to set the hue and color level. Remote control. I don't think this... Oh, yeah, there's a picture of what it was. It was huge. Oh. It was a huge... No, this does not have the remote option. All right, let's fire this one up. And we'll do a instant, hard, forced reformatting of the capacitors reforming okay we're gonna plug it in here we have a signal fed into it on channel 4 Ooh, I kinda heard it do something there is it on? It's on. channel 3 right? or 4 Volume doesn't seem to be doing much. Okay. The horizontal needs to be adjusted on. Okay, turn it. Are they going other way? No. Uh, it's less out, but it's still out. Maybe the. I think the oscillator, there you go. But it sounds like there's something wrong with the speaker. And now the cue looks too purple. Um, you see how it's blooming and it's blurry and it's... And the camera's totally blanking it out in the sun. Yeah, the camera's completely blanking it in the sun. I think I need to be in 30 frames a second. It's not sinking to it. <clears throat> anyway, we'll call this video good. This is a new old stock Packard Bell color hybrid set. It's working, but it's obviously got some issues because the sound is very weak. Um, and the picture is not nearly as bright as it should be.